Okay. <laughs> this is the second time I record this because uh, the first time I forgot my uh, mic. Uh, but anyway, uh, so as you can see here, today is Sunday. Uh, I have 19 hours till the arena, the, a the AR season resets. Um, the the problem being, um, I won't be able to make uh, Monday AR videos anymore. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I'll be doing the, the the Sunday before I'll be making the videos and releasing them. Um, yeah, so that's basically how, how that's going to go. Uh, I'm still going to have, you know, we, we can see here I have potentially two 100 attack attacks. Actually, maybe we can't. Where, where, where's my Aether? Quit uh, 190 right here. Yeah, so we can see we have potentially two, one, one, uh, two attacks for 100 each. And then um, on, s on Monday, I'll be able to record my... Uh, well, I won't, rec I won't be able to record it. I'll just like do my matches on Monday. Um, and you know, it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, we'll, we won't get to see whether I make tier 27 or not. Um, I don't know what, what, how, <laughs> how to go about uh, doing that, I guess. Um, uh, it is what it is. Uh, the, the, the AR reset schedule is kind of crap. And I, I've just been fortunate that I've been able to do it these past uh, few, but uh, unfortunately, you know, Circumstances change, and and you know the way the the arena season ends. It ends today instead of uh, it ends tomorrow on a very busy day. Monday is usually very busy uh, for most people, and for some reason they decided that's going to be the day they're going to end. They're going to end it. Uh, so you know it is what it is. Um, so for now, I'm just going to you know show my uh, these two battles, um, and hopefully um, you know we can assume I make it. So one of the things I wanted to point out here, I wanted to show off a little bit. Uh, was there was only two sacred seal um, things, sacred seals that could make that could be released that could make Felicia better than she already was, and the first one is the most obvious one, which is obviously Vantage in the sacred seal, but that would just big basically make like every uh, dagger unit just dumb, broken in um, in general. Uh, so that's you know okay so that's obviously not going to happen. But the only other one I could have wanted was attack defense solo because if you for any of you who've been paying attention to my builds, uh, I had run the brazen def uh, attack defense, but that kind of conflict conflicts for one with the noontime. Um, and yeah, I mean you know, like you need the you need that defense at the start like when you're at full health so you don't drop too low because sometimes people would just like one shot you in in a combat because your your defense is kind of low. Um, and your attack isn't high enough to like one shot certain people. So this way it's just always active and it's just uh, It's just good, right? So Personally, this is like probably the best seal we could have gotten for her um, So that's that's perfect um, What was the other thing? Uh, so other than that that was the main thing I wanted to point out was uh, we got basically the perfect Felicia seal there uh, secondly uh, Felicia herself, I really hope someday in the future. She'll get a, uh, a refine because that'd be pretty cool um, uh, not a refine, um, a resplendent alt, uh, cause that'd be really cool. Um, like even with a resplendent alt, she's not even hitting 50 attack, which is pretty abysmally bad. Like her attack is only hitting 50 on this season, on the Astra season, because you have Altina with her. But other than that, it's like, gosh damn, it's like, it's so bad. Like it, it hurts so much using her, uh, because I don't get to use, uh, her Felicia's plate, which is basically like the, you know, the funnest part about her, but, uh. It is what it is, you know. Uh, that's just something I wanted to point out. Was uh, hopefully she'll get like that's the only thing she's she's missing now. Like I've got a plus ten, plus fifteen flowers, all the all the proper uh, all the proper um, blessings. Now she has like her perfect uh, the perfect um, sacred seal and everything. But uh, her stats are just so hard to overcome. So hopefully she gets a resplendent ult at some point, which would be really really cool. Um, like, cause, I mean, could you imagine this? Like forty six res. She gets 35 from the thing, so 37 plus the 6 from defense solo, plus the 6 from the, so 35 plus 6 gets you to 41, plus the resplendent all gets you to 43 defense, it's like 48 speed. Uh, if I get a plumeria at some point, 48 speed goes up to 53 speed, so basically I'm not getting outsped by anyone, um, <laughs> theoretically anyway. Uh, and then finally we'll have the 52 attack with the with this is a 58 attack. So. We're, we'll be looking at a pretty uh, formidable unit, I think. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. It's just um, yeah, a small update there.
Uh, yeah, let's just get in there. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go see over here what we're dealing with. Uh, additionally, I also have to make a follow-up video on the Zane video because of, for one, there's, there's some more, you know, some people, I had talked to some people in the comments section, uh, some of you guys, you know, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but another thing is, um, you know, obviously people have started making their videos on him and all that stuff. Uh, I still haven't pulled for Zane just because I'm probably not going to pull for Zane because it's not like, I'm not in need of a Zane. Um, but he does look fun. Even if you don't need him, I, you know, a lot of people are pulling him even though they don't need him. And he does, like, like, like I said, he does look very fun and very interesting to be using. Um, but yeah, that's something to consider. Ooh, a plus 10 Cecilia. That's what I want to, I want to plus 10. Mine is at plus 5, but, uh, unfortunately Brunya is after, uh, I finished my Minerva. Um, this looks like a typical... Yeah, this looks like uh, I could just drop um, Vector here, right? Like he could he could probably survive all of this, I think. Maybe. Nah, this one looks pretty tricky. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's a fifty-fifty, right? It looks like he could. No infantry pulses, so she has to get that naturally, and she's not going to not with uh, Vector running special spiral. So maybe put like. Pop this, get rid of this stuff here, put Tethys here, uh, move Vector here, and then have uh, Altina or Naga like smite him up here. Like have him, he has to move up here by himself, and then Tethys will dance him, and then he'll he's danceable, and then um, she'll smite him up here. And once he's here, I can either like attack him, or I can attack her. Hmm. <clears throat> It's kind of interesting that he has this bold fighter plus the Fury 3 plus the, um, because I'm sure it's a speed, right? Is this speed? Defense Resbon. Okay, never mind. I thought it was speed. It was just weird that, like, you didn't want to go special fighter here instead of the, the bold fighter, but forcing the doubles is, is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, the problem with forcing the doubles is that it's not going to do very much when I have Vector uh, reducing the doubles uh, right back at him. Um, not to mention, I also don't have to worry about, oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't have to worry about him gale forcing me, but, uh, he's not gonna be gale forcing because he's got Glacies, uh, for some reason. Um, the problem is, who do I attack? So do I, do I try to hit the, uh, I try to hit her? Or, well, it, okay, well, yeah, then, then, okay, so basically I'm basically covered, uh, no matter what, right? Because this will pop everybody, and this is his healing it all back, so that's not that big a deal. Um, but basically, Vector stands here, he one-shots her, and then I have to tank all the rest of this. The fact that, let's see, he's got Bold Fighter, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, because again, my, I get doubled, I get doubles on him, and then I have Special Fighter, which means that he's, his special's being reduced, so it's not gonna go off. Uh, let's see. He'll hit me once, that's two. I'll hit him once, that's one. He'll hit me another time, that's three. So it'll be done but he, he already hit me twice and I don't have to worry about that and then I'll hit him again and he'll probably die um, her she hopefully her damage is, is kind of reduced because she's um, uh, because she's what's it called she's red um, he's gonna get a bunch of attacks force follow-ups he's gonna be kind of a pain but yeah I might not be able to survive him actually uh, so he's at one. So yeah, basically because of times pulse. Does he come? I don't, I'm not sure he comes with that. I don't know. Uh, but times pulse drops him down to zero. So his glimmer will be ready on turn one. So basically, I guess the takeaway from this is going to be that uh, I need to somehow I need to do what I just what I just said I was gonna do, like right here, get Vector here, and then try to kill him first or something. Because again, like I said, someone is gonna die here. See, his range is that. Okay. So, yeah, I can I can put Tethys here, dance Vector, and then have him, like, get smited up forward and then hit her. Or hit them. And that should be fine, right? That should be all right. Because, yeah, like. <sighs> so, he's down to 13 HP. The only thing, my, my main and, you know, most pressing concern here is kind of the obvious one. Is the fact that 
Even with the Bolt Tower dropping him by 40, he'll be at 13 HP. I'm not entirely sure I can kill him even then, uh, which is kind of... Uh, bonuses on... Grants bonuses to units attack equal to total bonuses on foe, and I don't run bonuses, so I don't have to worry about this. They don't have any visible buffs. Okay. Yeah, they don't have any visible buffs. She's not going to be as threatening as this guy here, because I have more defense. My res is kind of lacking. Let's go see what the going on here yeah so there i don't know it's just he's he's weird he's a weird stat ball 65 um magical attack it's nothing to sneeze at there not to mention he's also reducing my attack by three um so i need to do 13 damage which means uh i need to do 40 plus the 13 so that's already 53 plus i need to get over this uh lull which is uh 56 so i have to do 56 damage to him if and his special is going to be ready so I need to do 56 plus 5 more defense. I need to do 56, 61 damage to him. So I need to do 61 damage to him. Let's go take a look at what my, um, how my, well, not you actually. We want to look at you. 61 damage. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. So I have to have 61 attack for that to work. Multi. What is, let's see, this doesn't give me any bonuses here. Yeah, his and his and I'm, I'm I'm initiate I'm initiating when he does not have 100% health, so this is not going to be enough. Um I gave him this uh for something else and I feel like I probably should have taken that off. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, actually, don't know what to do here. Um, I guess what I'm gonna do here is I might have to just I might have to go with Felicia and then hopefully Naga. So just have him stand here. Uh, Naga gives her like have Naga here, her here, and then have uh, Naga give her the uh, whatever, the dragon effectiveness, and then have Naga like stand here and like smite her up into this, and then proceed to like snipe him. I need to hit someone that's like that'll charge his, that'll boost this thing because I don't want these five. Yeah, this isn't good. Um. Uh. I really just want to try that though. I think I might just do this anyway. Just like put Vector here, hit him, and then deal with the fallout after that. <laughs> um, so this team actually looks pretty tough to beat just because of how overly stacked Alphonse is with his infinite charge specials and uh, inability to just die. Um, damn, that's crazy. Can you believe that? That I have a bolt tower hitting for 40 and it still probably can't secure the the first turn kill on him that is insane it's pure 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 freaking insanity um, ruptured sky again so sh so this this shouldn't trigger this shouldn't trigger this shouldn't trigger uh, that shouldn't trigger obviously um, this should not trigger right yeah it shouldn't trigger and this shouldn't trigger or this should trigger and then if he initiates on me i'm basically screwed let's just try it we have escape letters right yeah let's just wow well, i only have oh man i only have two left i don't remember using so many but it is what it is uh let's go with the dancer because why not uh let's just do it Uh, so this might be another case of like forcing Vector into stuff he's not supposed to be into, but um, actually Vector should be here. Wait, what? Yeah, right. He needs to be here. I need to dance him, and then smite him up here, and then have him go forward and hit him. Right. So let's get you over here. 
Uh, you over here. Well, you're gonna be. He, she's gonna be popping this, so that'll be that. Okay. Uh, and my uh, armor thing here is dropping them by two. Yeah, Cecilia is pretty beefy. Um, but I think uh, the 47 defense we're getting off of this is is pretty good. Oh, I, yeah, I'd forgotten about that. I'm, I'm getting three more attack, and uh, I'm getting about five more, four more, uh, an amount more defense. Yeah, five more defense. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can tell I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, let's pop this. This actually has 99. They have max um, whatever, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, let's pop these things, because I need to get Altina up here anyway. Um, yeah, and we ha we have to wait till this triggers, so we're kind of just sitting tight here. Uh-oh, that's bad. I just realized that. Okay, so this is actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be, because now... <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, um, we lost this, which is the thing we needed. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Um... Oof. Of course. It will be done. Okay, so I kind of figured that was going to be the trap, but it is what it is. So he's at full HP and I still don't get the follow-up attack, so that's kind of the suck. I think we're going to lose this, honestly. Um, I don't see how we win here. So what their oh their movement is up. Okay. Wait, right? Who why is okay, so you have armor march and okay. That's alright. Uh it's not that big a deal. Let's increase his special. It doesn't really matter. Uh we're just getting in a little bit of free damage. Oh his special didn't increase for some reason. Oh, does it not work? Ooh, that's bad. Let's see what happens here. No, I'm supposed to put on animations. Okay. I don't get the double on him for some reason. I think he's got like a sturdy uh, thing. Uh, damn, everybody here is just so tanky. I can see why this person has like 99 of every chair. And I get the um, the heal, <laughs> even though it doesn't do very much. Um, she's gonna dance her, and of course I'm going to lose. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, cool. She doesn't take. She doesn't do any damage to her, but uh, at least she survives, which is the important part here. Oh no, maybe. <sighs> it is what it is. Okay, so hit me for twenty-four. So that wasn't. This is. This Alphonse wasn't as uh, strong as I really like thought he was gonna be, but that's just because Vector is just so strong. There you go. See, basically full healed. Uh, and then he got danced, and I'm going to hit him for 47. <laughs> That's actually pretty pitiful. Um... So yeah, uh... Wait, animations are on. Yeah, they are. Ooh, very interesting. Uh, let's just get out of here. Um... I kind of want to just corner him up here. She lost her movement ability, so... Shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, 35 to 54 is not the best stats wise. Ugh, I kind of just want to leave. This looks pretty miserable. For some reason, that's doing s no damage. For s that's kind of weird. I'm up next. So I'm losing six attack, and with, with a six attack loss, I'm doing no damage again. Um, what kind of damage I'm doing here? <laughs> oh yeah, it's only one point of damage there. It's not worth uh, wasting that soul on her. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm just kind of screwed here. Um, I just 
just want to leave, but I kind of feel like I shouldn't. Yeah. <sighs> I just want to like, so part of me is the pettiness. Part of me staying is the pettiness. Like I really want to cost this guy uh, lift loss because of uh, those 99 chairs. Uh, and the fact that he's just got a really annoying team, like double dancer is like the bane of my existence. At least it wasn't like a double dancer gale force with that uh, Ellie Wood there. That would have been pretty cancerous. Um, but yeah, part of the other part of the reason was the other part of the thing that kind of irritates me is um, I basically lost because I did, I couldn't secure the kill onto her, which. Like I said, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, so do I want to take this L in the name of pettiness? And I feel like I do. There's not even a guarantee we'll win this either. Like, I'm pretty sure we'll win. But I'm not entirely sure. The only person who can hit her here is going to be you. But you can't, you can't move, right? So her... Her instinct is just going to come up here and hit him and die. With utter certainty. Consider it done. Um, I'm concerned about this plate here. Well, I think this plate will hit him, but we'll, we'll find out. Let's take a look here. Okay, so she's in vantage range, so if she decides to just move here and hit her, she's going to die anyway. She should anyway. Uh, hit me for 33. Uh, was that 40-something? Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Okay, now let's take a look and see what happens here. Oh, okay, so this is bad. Yeah. Oh no. What? What? Oh, she she just killed me. Okay. Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, so this is fine. Um, there you go. Just more reason to leave. Uh, actually, um. I do wonder if maybe Felicia might have had a better time here, but I, I still doubt it. Um, surrender. Uh, yeah, there we go. So obviously I didn't go the way we wanted it to, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm getting 70 tomorrow, right? Which means after I get this first 20, so let's go over here. So after I get the first 20, let's see what we're looking at here, what we're, the barrel we're staring down. Ooh, someone's got Vector on defense. Uh, so having this on him isn't so bad because if he gets panicked, it doesn't matter because debuffs don't work on him. They, they cleanse themselves. Uh, but this team overall, I got paired down pretty hard. They were just like, well, you lost to that guy. So they just threw me this guy. <laughs> they threw me this person here, uh, which is always kind of <laughs> salty when they do it to you. Uh, but it is what it is. Like, I'm still at... In 7,000th place, right? 7,600 and something. <laughs> and some... Like, the the drastic difference between people you find at that rank. I think somewhere back there, they're... Cr like, something's crunching numbers and knowing that it's like, oh, well, this is what uh, you should be fighting against and they, and they just pair you with these people. <laughs> um, so this one looks... I'm kind of forced into running... Felicia because of their seer here uh, but even then there's like like this here is a huge pain in the ass uh, he neutralizes them right so it neutralizes units penalties right so does that mean that broadly fan isn't going to work on him I think that is I think that's the case I think broadly fan is going to work on him so that kind of sucks um, now it basically just means, yeah, I don't know what it means. Um, oof, this is a pretty tough team. Well, there you go. These are, these, this is interesting because these are, these matches are slightly harder, um, than some of the, the ones you've seen on regular, like when I, when I do this normally. Uh, we're dropping to my 20. I think what I'm going to do is pop this and then pop this. And then the only person who can hit me here is going to be a Thame. Uh, Thame Cronia. And I don't really care about what she's going to do to me because she's just going to die. Um, she's not going to get any debuffs because uh, not from Tamari and not from what's it called, but that's fine. Uh, I think I can take her anyway. 46 attack. That's, that's like nothing. 
Uh, she's had a plus one merge, so that's what that is. Uh, and then, yeah, I can just bait these two into uh, her, so very cool. Let's come over here. Yes, this is excellent. Um, this is a, a good case to show off the uh, plus six. So basically, I'm at 41 defense, which is just perfect, um, and should make it so that basically she's pretty, she's decently trivial, I think. Um, you, we'll put you here, and then I'll put you uh, here. Uh, well, maybe here. Yeah, I'll put you here, and there you go. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, so four damage, and then hit her for twenty-five. That's good. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna kill her, but that's all right. Uh, and then we're boosting everybody's cooldowns over here, and five damage. Uh, I've actually been super satisfied running. Um, super satisfied running the. Um, what's it called? The deflect magic on my on her, because it basically just means things like this. Uh, like I don't I don't die to things like this anymore, right? Like, um, yeah. Uh, I, I I still uh, I sort of find it like unforgivable that you can lose a fight like that against. Um, you can still lose a fight like that against a uh, a red as Altina with such a huge um, res stat, but you know. It is what it is. Um, so I need the defense off of this, right? Uh, no, not this. Uh, this. If you need adjacent to only beast or dragon allies. Oh, okay. So okay, never mind. I can just leave her there. Uh, I'm assuming I can just leave this here. Uh, uh, you can't move, right? So what I'm tempted to do is is hit this, like. Put her here, hit this, and then dance her, and then forward here, and then hit this, and then let her hit run into me again. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So let's hit this. Lead away. Okay. So that doesn't look too bad. Uh, you still can't move very well, and then she's gonna bait her into him into her, and then she'll die. So let's actually get you walking this way because I need her to probably kill him. Yeah, he's, I don't know what this is. Look, I mean, look at this. This is bad. This is this is sad. Uh, I can't believe I'm getting pared down this hard. <laughs> like that's so mean. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, also, the other thing that's, that's helpful is I'm actually running um, distant defense on. Uh, uh oh, thirty-two. That's almost exactly so. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. She barely survived. That's ridiculous, dude. And then uh, same for five again, and then I hit her for uh, 43. Oof. So what I'm going to do here is reposition you here. Hit you. And then I'm gonna smite her forward. So I'm losing nine to speed and defense, but that's all right. Uh, then I'm gonna smite you forward so she can brawl with him for a bit. Uh, what does he have? He has drag back or something? He has lunge. Okay, they swap spaces, which is all right. It's not that big a deal. Uh, my real problem, of course, is him. I cannot attack into him because I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna pop this, and we need to get Felicia to start working on getting over here. Fortunately, we popped the healing tower, which means that- look at all those stats! It's ridiculous! Very nice. Um, cool. Oof, this is bad. Uh, he has- yeah, he has that. Uh, let us- Let's do this. And that one's real. Okay. You have my trust. Okay. 
course. And you, oh, I forgot she, I always forget she doesn't have the, uh, Okay. Uh, I forget that she doesn't have the what's it called. Um, can you kill him? Uh, oh, you're still like not. You can't move, and you can't move either. So, I'm gonna hit. We're gonna hit that with that. You have my trust. Uh, so no one, no one's gonna be able to compete with this. Uh, okay, so hopefully she can do a decent amount of damage here, and she cannot. Um, well, and I do zero damage with that too. Um, I'm gonna be pretty sad if I lose this. So basically. He's gonna hit her once. She needs to survive one hit from him, right? And he's he's got 52. So hopefully I can survive one hit from him, and then counterattack with the with the glimmer, and then he'll die. That's what should happen in theory, but of course, um, it's not how these things end up working in practicality. So let's just. Let's actually see how much damage you can do. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't have to risk that anymore. Um, and this is kind of what I find interesting is that while Naga is usually pretty useless, like the fact that if you just give her this and then kind of pick your spots with her, the fact that she's a magical dealer when uh, one, two, and three of my main units are uh, physical, she can just kind of snipe people. Like every so often there's like a Duma or something or, or you know, there's a Vector who's very strong and hard to deal with. But they have kind of a middling, you know, or lagging behind uh, res stat, and then you know people like Naga can just kind of come in and finish them off. Now this is what's, what's fun. The funniest thing here, right, is that this is actually like <laughs> exact lethal. So if it wasn't for this specific situation, I might be screwed uh, if if she couldn't tank uh, a hit from him. But like I said, I think she could. So she's got uh, 40 defense plus the uh four from here is 44 plus this is uh 50 so she has like 50 defense i'm almost tempted to just leave her there and let her take the hit but uh there's no real reason to to risk something like that so we won this one on basically uh long-term rng rather than something stupid happening like turn to turn so this is like my uh investment into giving her the life and death and then just kind of having her as like a magical hitter and just letting her do stuff randomly uh turned out all right Okay, so we're at top 3,000, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're so high, obviously, because we're burning. We'll be we'll be even higher. We'll be like a top, you know, 1,000. But that's just that's just because we're burning. Um, what's it called? We're burning aether uh, so much because not not normally people don't burn this much uh, on the day before. People save it like on the end, uh, but I'm burning it now. So uh, what I want to do? What's actually interesting is if I get the pots on the next on the next two, that's 20 points. So I have 30 in total plus the 70 coming tomorrow on Monday. Uh, is a one for one more 100 attack, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just get in here. Uh, let's go fight against some top 3k people. Wow, somebody really liked Ashnard. I was about to say, there's like no way these are all plus 10 Ashnards. Um, and they're not. But uh, it's pretty interesting investment considering uh, two Ashnards do have the attack defense unity. Um, so this is going to be insanely hard to kill. Like, like this is no joke. This is uh, this looks this looks pretty agonizing uh, because all of these. Let's, go take, <laughs> let's take let's take a look at this. Yeah, foes. Of, so basically, I'm being reduced by 15 defense and 15 attack. <laughs> this is not uh, this is not okay. I don't know who came up with this, but. All I gotta say is, damn. I gotta find a better place to put this because most people are putting their Dumas right here. And I know because there's a lot of times where I just randomly can't um, rely on this to, to, to do anything. 
Uh, I'm partially just tempted to end turn with um, Bector here and then let them come to me. Like, have him just come slam into me. If he is within two spaces of an ally, so one, two. If he stands here, he can hit here. So I'm standing here, he hits here. Two, one, two. So, yeah, I can bait them out by just standing here. Uh, the main problem, obviously, is going to be that uh, she is going to come in here and probably do some damage. Um, it is not very cool. Uh, but I'm liking, I'm liking that. I think I'm just going to sit here, um, put Vector here, and then tank all three of these reds. Uh, this is actually a pretty funny strategy. Uh, grants four reds to units. Uh, so this is in combat. In combat, in combat, uh, in combat. So all this stuff is in combat. So there's no real reason to bring uh, Tethys. So my, my, my plan is like maybe just run Veronica as support. Because Veronica, like her refine is actually insane for uh, her support role. Um, you can use this, sure. But like giving uh, plus three and then dropping them plus three. I would, like, you know, obviously who's better? Um, uh, what's her name? You know the girl. Uh Lancina is obviously better because she gives three to everything on your to your unit, uh, but this one's more aggressive. Like you're reducing their defense or res by three. The defense is the only one that counts, obviously. And then you're giving uh, Vector attack plus three, where the other one you're giving it, uh, him attack plus three plus like more defensive stats, which isn't, which isn't totally useful. Um, in this case, you're basically giving him a plus six attack, and then you know I, I should probably if I, I'm going to be using her as a more support role these days now, so I'm uh, going to give her. Maybe some drives here, and then she'll be, like, insane. Um, but like I said, Lancina is usually better, but because my Vector has Special Fighter already, um, Lancina's, like, breath effect is not useful to him, and all it's doing is giving him three attack. The speed is all useless. I mean, obviously, these two are valuable stats to be boosting, but, like, he's already so survivable that it's like, okay, you can kind of, like, pass on that a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so... I think maybe effective against uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah. I think maybe I'm just gonna go with this. Um, I could go with you and drop all their attack by five, but it's not wholly useful, right? Because I'm a drop. I'm dropping their attack by five, which is like okay, but I'm dropping their speed by five, which it's not as valuable because I'm not gonna outspeed anyone, so it doesn't really matter what their speed is. And on top of that. Those debuffs are more useful on someone like, um, what's her name? On Broadleaf Lelina, right? Because of, you know, the the Broadleaf of fan effect. Um, I guess the issue I'm having now is how am I going to get, how am I, I going to get these two things back here? Uh, so that kind of sucks, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, perfect. Okay. So he's going to pop that, obviously. Uh, and then I'm going to heal that all back up from my healing tower. Uh, and then we put the uh, glorious plan into motion. Or we don't, because uh, I my thing lagged and it counted my two very long <laughs> separated clicks as uh, together. So, okay, <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, let us hit this. Now my emulator is lagging. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's starting to bother me a little bit. Uh, and fortunately for us, yeah, okay. So that was actually pretty good because now I can just smite her here and then have her bait get baited into hitting her, and then have the rest of these idiots just kind of slam into me over and over again. So that's that actually turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, because I was about to like do it that turn. I was just like about to go all in, but now it's like. Okay, so she has buffs because uh, I'm mentally disabled and. Okay, I was about to pop that um, that pot there, but I'm gonna unleash hellfire on myself if I do. So let's not do that. 
Um, and then let's put you here. Let's see what happens, I guess. Look, no damage. Um, we're dropping everybody by seven, which is not that good because this is just going to heal them back, but it is what it is. Okay, let's just... Uh, uh, I thought this was close. Oh, okay, never mind. Cool. Yeah, so this is even perfect. So now he gets plus four. I thought it was the other one, which gives her plus eight or six or something. And that's an A slot skill, actually. So there you go. Um, let's kind of see what happens here. I'm actually curious to see how this goes. Uh, 26... Okay, so he didn't die, which we kind of figured was probably going to happen. So 20 for 2, so that's 40 damage at most. Ugh, and the second one. Okay, so this is reduced though, by a, a huge amount. Very good. Okay, so that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, I knew it's always risky, right? But uh, And that, that's kind of why she can't survive that, is because usually that ends up happening. Okay, so they, they moved in formation. Uh, it's actually kind of funny, right? Because like I spent all that time saying how great <laughs> Ashnard is. And this person... I mean, obviously, I don't think they watch my videos. But this person, like, without needing to know, I thought he was great. <laughs> just went out and, like, was like, yeah, I'm going to make a whole flyer ball <laughs> out of nothing but Ashnards. Uh, so I, that, I find that pretty amusing, personally. Um, uh, so now the other issue is we're kind of... Uh, oddly spaced here. Uh, basically, he didn't die, so no one else could come in to attack me. Uh, he's actually going to be harder to kill now, uh, too. I will find. Um, I am going to swap positions. Oh, I can't even heal him. Never mind. Okay, let's get you up here. Uh, he has movement, so let's not mess with him right now. Okay, let's see what happens here. So hopefully... Okay, now, yeah, now this is serious, because I'm actually going to have a significantly harder time dealing with this. Um, so I did as much damage the first time because of uh, how that was. Uh, 13. So this guy is not going to die still. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the the main times where you'd want to run something like a um, one of the main yeah one of the main times where the uh, let's see if I can hit you with this I still cannot I, uh, I can't hit you though but that's not worth it let's not get anybody out of position here shall we. Did you call for me? Um. I don't know why he came over here. I'm not sure what you're doing here, what you want. Um, but it is what it is. Yes. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, like this person was like, yeah, uh, Ashnard is actually so good, I'm just going to make an entire flyer ball out of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's, it's all just three Ashnards, and then the Plumeria and the Duma as a support. That's hilarious to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Like that laugh, to, <laughs> we're all gonna die. I'm up next. Mm, she gives out. One step at a time. Did you call for me? Let's heal you just for the sake of it, because I mean he'll heal back anyway. Like, regardless. Uh, hopefully they're out of range of this healing tower. So now this first, no, he's not gonna die. So this Gurgarant is not going to die either. <laughs> uh, if there was ever an argument, a very strong argument, on what you should be running, oh, 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 what you should be running on your Bector, uh, Bonfire looks pretty good right here. Uh, not going to lie. Um, that's that. He's going to hit me, so I'm finally going to kill this Ashnard. Okay. This is actually going pretty well. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so that was kind of nervous there for a second, but it looks like we'll be fine. Can I kill this Ashnard? Probably not. So let's not tempt fate there. Now the other issue is this is taking so long to actually just one shot or just kill everybody. Honestly, that uh, I'm up next. let's hit him with this swap. Yeah, okay, that, that looks good. I'm gonna hit you with this. Okay, so now we're gonna swap and let's get you out of harm's way. Uh, let's end turn here. Oops, let's <laughs> not surrender, let's end turn. I might actually end up surrendering because we don't, we don't have both the pots, which is pretty annoying. Um, and of course, uh, as people with rallies and idiotic um, B skills go, they always just rally each other instead of just running into me, which is pretty annoying. Um, so he has harsh command, which was a huge pain. Which is a huge pain in my ass. Of course, he would have had rally or a harsh command. Okay, so I just wanted to see how that went. I'm up next. Um, let's not do that. If I do this, Please tell me I can kill her. No, I can't. Um, and then I can do this again. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we just lost. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, so that succeeded in what it was there to do. Uh, be a huge nuisance. Um, oh, somebody, did you see that? I went down 23 points. Um, places, I mean, which means someone's out there doing their... Um, they AR right now, so let's go edit Aether Keep and drop this. Place remove. Uh, usually, you kind of just want to leave it there so you don't forget next season, but um, like it's, it's common practice to... Well, it's actually better... It's, okay, it's better to leave it there so that coming into next season, you don't have to worry about it being there or not, and then like running into a game and then uh, realizing it's not there, and then <laughs> feeling... Uh, Mr. Phil, PhD, indeed. And then feeling like you got to... Uh, survive or feeling like you you know it's like oh you get in there and then you're, you're like oh I gotta quit and then you realize oh I don't have any ladders because I took my ladder off I want to say let's smite her here and then snipe you because you have no defense and there are no visible buffs here oh my gosh that's a lot of uh, ward stacking I feel like I should just like off of this, looking at this, I feel like I should just be ward stacking myself. Um, the alternative would probably just be to smite her up here. Hopefully uh, this is real. If not, maybe hit this and then everybody is going to get popped. Oh, actually, okay, no, never mind. I was worried about uh, so many wards stacking here and then her like not being able to die, but... Um, I think with the Broadleaf fan plus this, we're solid. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like smite her up here and then hit her and then proceed to do whatever I want from there. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we have you, Aversa. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Um, yeah, let's do it. I almost took the wrong team into that. Uh, so you guys got to see some Bector gameplay. <laughs> you guys got to see some Felicia gameplay. Um, 
not, that's that's pretty good. It's a mixture of the two uh, of my two favorite units uh, these days. I need to worry about taking this stuff over here. Let's put you here, and then we'll put you here, and we'll put you here. Yeah, I'm gonna snipe this immediately. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. We've got, do we have any restores? So I think what, what causes them to move sometimes on their own is the restore mainly because uh, restore can activate whether or not they have the D, but like if they have just the, um, the what's it called? The, the panic, even if it's not doing very much. Uh, I need a one, two, three, four, and then he can hit here, or here. I need to keep an eye on his movement, which basically it, it extends to one here, to here, here, and here, and there. Uh, it's his movement, so he he, ga he gains these. So just I need to avoid those. What is your desire? I'll think about it. Okay. And I am debuffed all to hell for some reason. Three, three, seven, seven. Okay. Um, let's start again popping these. Uh, so it doesn't really matter here, the positioning. Uh, because I can smite her and she'll land here and I can just move forward and pop that person there. Um, the only thing is I am going to have to... Uh, yeah, so it looks fine. Alright, here goes. I'm going to have to dance her to take off okay. her debuffs. Well, I might have to. Hopefully I don't have to. Let's see. 29 defense uh, dropped. She'll be down to 14, and I have 29 to 47 plus 6. Oh man, that's pretty irritating. She also doesn't have any um, visible debuffs on her for some reason. Oh, she's wow, that's a pretty monstrous red stat. There you go. Uh, if you ever need a uh, reason to to run a high res S for some, at all, it's like it's to make sure you don't get tamarried. Uh, I think with her high res like that, I personally I think I might have gone for uh, sturdy impact over the this. Like you're losing two attack and then you're gaining like a plus ten to defense. Um, I think that would have been a lot better, but you know, this isn't my uh, my build, so it is what it is. Twenty nine, so I need to be doing fourteen damage. So I have to be doing twenty nine plus ten is thirty nine plus four is forty three. I need to be doing 43 damage on one hit. Uh, 43, so I have 47 plus the 6 gets me. Um, plus the 6 gets me to 53. I think that should be fine, right? I don't think uh, that's too big a problem. Also, he, he, he's not transforming, which I was kind of stupid to, to forget about. Um. Oh, I, for, I almost I almost forgot about these these buffs. He get she gets plus three to defense. Um. Oh, and and there you go. That's not including how many uh, gosh damn stacks of this she has. So she's basically immortal. <laughs> uh, four. So she's getting this one, this one, this one, and this one. Is she getting this one, not this one? So one, two, three, four. 12 defense. Oh, I mean, there you go. When you're stacking this much uh, ward power, uh, it's not that big a deal. Um, so she has 12 extra defense on top of this. So that's 39 uh, plus two more is 41. So she has 41 defense plus this. 41 is 44 defense. Um, and I have only 53 attack. 
If I get this other three, that's 56 attack. I might have to do that. Uh, what's her speed looking like? Oh, I could just double her. That's not that big a deal. Okay, then I'll just have to do that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's wait till next turn. Oh, I, I could have started popping these, actually. Ooh, that is just disappointing as hell. Uh, plus six attack and defense. She's gaining 23 defense and 23 res. Twenty-three defense. So twenty-nine plus twenty-three is forty-nine. Fifty-two. So she's getting fifty. She's at fifty-two defense right now, okay. and I only have fifty-six attack. Ready. So I am hitting her for four. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hitting her for four. Uh, that is that is pretty atrocious. Um, also, I won't be able to survive uh, a two-shot from this. Because she's just going to go twice, right? And I don't have any way to drop my HP down. And their healing tower is right here. I might have to... I might lose this one, honestly. I don't know what to do here. I don't really have a choice. I kind of have to hit her. Um, and then hopefully I can tank the, uh, I'm not, it's not going to happen. This is going to heal. Okay. okay so, it was, so it was this one. Uh, this is bad. Uh, I am going to die here, I think. With utter certainty. Let's see what happens. I don't have it. Yeah, so she's gonna hit me for 39 times 2. Yeah, no, that's over. <sighs> that that is that 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 basically. Fortunately, uh, what I like about this now is I can we can learn from, we can all learn from this. I think a little bit. <laughs> um, wards are very powerful, and I think going forward, I need to just stack as many as I can uh, on my defense. Um, and that'll that'll probably that'll that hopefully should make things a lot more difficult for the person um, for the person uh, fighting against my team. I need to be okay. Sorry about that. Um, so basically, what I did here was I already I accidentally flipped um, used her to flip uh, Anna over down here. Um, yeah. That was all I did. Um, just flip her down here because I, I needed her to get the buffs so that her. Um, I need to reposition her so she get the link buffs, so that she would then have uh, this and then have this active. Uh, what I'm gonna do here now is I'm just gonna bait her into her. Um, yeah, bait her into her and then try to do something from there. Um, hopefully she so. The idea going forward is hopefully she can fight her. Now she doesn't have like a million wards. Uh, she can hopefully take her down and her, and then eventually she can hopefully take him down. Uh, though maybe not. Um, it just depends. We'll, we'll see when we get there. And then obviously I think her she'll probably be able to take these two down. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, we'll we'll see how this goes. Oh, I didn't realize that's probably another reason why. So now that she have the the four from this, she also had the the four from this. So that was another uh, stat bonus that I wasn't keeping in track there. Um, but yeah, let's do this and see what happens. Oh, yeah. she did some damage, and I get the counter. Okay. So I think I'm. She's gonna die here. Okay, so she is. Oh, and she gets the double. So that's pretty annoying. Yeah, so it's looking like I'm just gonna lose a hundred. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking like I'm gonna lose a hundred. Forty-three. I won't be able to kill him either. 
Wow, what is it in here? Ooh, wait. No, I don't think so. Yeah, 31. Uh, so that kind of sucks. So we basically just lost 100 Aether here today. Um, on nothing. And tomorrow I won't even get the 100... Um, the 100 uh, attack because I'll need to get more Aether. Um, so I'm just going to get 70. So 10. So tomorrow 70 is 80, right? So I missed those. So tomorrow's just going to be a 50. So I'll do that and hopefully I can make it to tier 27. But I kind of doubt it, right? Because I need to make... Yeah, I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna jump two tiers with only a, a 50 point attack. So that that kind of sucks. So that should have been what a three, but that was a 324. That would have put me into tier 26. Uh, three, so 12. Wait, 13. It would have been 13 two, right? 13 two, and I would have been here at 13 two, and then I would have gotten another for 100 or even a 50, right? But for 100. 13.2 plus 300, right, is uh, uh, 13.5. So then I would have made 227, right? Uh, and then here would have been uh, 13. Even if I hadn't got that, this is 13.2. Maybe barely would have made it, even if I if I hadn't got the pots. Barely might have made it. Um but this is this is good because it kind of showcases a lot of the reason why you want to wait as long as possible to spend your ether, right? Uh, so I would have spent my ether the first time and had those matches. The thing is, let's take a look at this here. Uh, not that uh, check rewards. So I burned that those 100 aether to fight someone at rank 3000 if i had burned them tomorrow instead i would have been at rank like 6000 or maybe even lower right and i would have fought against people at that lower rank and yeah i mean that's basically it right so the, the earlier you burn it the more you're gonna fight people at a higher ranking um and people who have gotten so if you use yours all up today you're basically fighting people who have been sitting there at the same amount of ether. Like, let's say I maxed them both out today. I got 100% on both of them. I got perfect on both of them. You'd be fighting against someone uh, who has the amount of points I would have gotten today without having to burn as much aether as I burned. Like, he was just doing, he or she was just doing their uh, aether raids normally, right? Just like one a day. Um, and then, you know, burn whatever they have over left over tomorrow. But one a day. And they would have had they have around the same amount of points as I have after burning you know several of them today right so that's something to consider is that usually that's why you, that's for, for those of you who don't know it's like that's why you want to like save your aether till later it's it's usually like if you're gonna do that you're, it's usually recommended at the beginning because at the beginning um the rankings haven't like shuffled themselves around yet like it's still kind of random so you're probably you might end up fighting against someone at the highest tiers or someone at the lowest tiers because Basically, it's kind of like no one's attacked yet. Of course, some people start attacking and then ranks go up and down or whatever, right? But uh, the ranks haven't separated. The people like the high, the people at the top haven't separated themselves enough, hopefully, uh, or soon enough, hopefully, that it, it, it's the biggest difference. Um, but by the time you're at the end, right, you want to spend them at the end because at the end you'll be, you, you've gone through a whole week of attacks, right? And then at the end you'll be matched with people around your skill level. So like things like this happen where you don't like fight against the um like teams that are, are way way too far out of your range though it's important to realize that that can happen either way right like you could still end up with people really high outside your range uh over there but yeah um yeah there's not much else to say just you know not gonna make tier 27 this week uh and there's really no hiding it here at all um but yeah it's not it's not too bad uh we actually did pretty well on our defense um Again, there's still one more day, but that's like uh, that's like one more attack. Or well, actually, maybe I should check that one. Uh, let's go look at our defense. Yeah, so you know, one more attack, which is gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's not that big a deal. So it looks like we uh, failed the first one. The second one we failed, but we got lift loss control. We succeeded here, here, here it was pretty cool. Uh, failure here, but. We took down two of their units, which means that uh, we didn't lose any lift, so that's pretty cool. And then, you know, more here, so. Uh, did pretty well on defense. Pretty well on defense, it would seem. 
This is, uh, of course, my team. I haven't replaced her yet, but as you can see here, uh, that's the other thing I wanted to show off today, in addition to the Felicia, is that I finally got a plus attack Micaiah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I barely got her like yesterday, the day before that. Or no, no, actually, I've, I think I've had her for a while, but I barely merged her like yesterday, the day before that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully she'll hit a lot harder now. Um, I don't have like a useless speed boon that doesn't give her anything, because all you want with her is either attack or res. Because uh, Res helps her get these off, as well as just being generally good for survivability against other mage users, uh, mages. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Um, the, the last thing is that I will soon have my Minerva plus 10. Uh, it's just a matter of time, maybe I think this week or next week. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, not much more to say other than that. Uh, yeah, I mean, good luck on uh, Aether Raids for you guys. Hopefully uh, everything goes well. And I think uh, going forward, maybe this might actually be better doing it on, on Sundays. Because you can see there, I, I fought some pretty um, some pretty well-designed teams here. Um, more than usual. Like, if I usually end up losing, it's because something stupid happened. Or I did something that w I wasn't paying attention to. Um, but, like, here I just straight up lost to, to very sort of well-built teams. Like, the... Uh, that stall, uh, what's his name? The stall Ashnar team was pretty good. It's kind of hard to kill any one of those individually. Like I can only imagine how bad it's going to be when, like, when or if that guy ends up uh, getting more uh, Grails and he decides to plus ten all three of them. If that's, if that's even possible, well, that's actually you know it's a smart idea that he 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 went with three and kind of stopped there because. You can actually run out. You're only allowed to take 20 of them. So that means you only get one plus 10 and then a second one at plus 9. Or no, he's a GHB unit, right? So the numbers are a little different. Um, so yeah, you get at least two plus 10s. Uh, and then a third one mid-merged, maybe three or something like that. Depending on when uh, GHB's battles comes back. Uh, when, when that GHB comes back and, and when you get more copies out of that and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's about it. Uh, hopefully you guys could gleam something from this um, I think the most important thing on my end <laughs> uh, I guess yeah two things for one wards are insanely powerful like just stack them just get all kinds of them just stack them just keep stacking them um, I think what the other part is have a bow user ready which is what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of I'm in the middle of getting Norn uh, Max merged and putting her on um, on Astra season uh, for that specific reason that that probably wouldn't have gone the way it did if I had Norn there to just like bow effectiveness most of their team. Um, but as you can see there, I did not have I did not have Norn. Actually, let's go see who's next. Right, if it's that guy. Yeah, this guy. So there you go. Um, he's a free. He's a free uh, unit for you guys. For those of you guys who saw, I pulled for him um, last time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you could use really any one of these. Um, you know, for those of you who, who never used Fjorm on Astra season, like she's actually pretty good. Um, surprisingly good. Uh, who else? I mean, I, I I'm working on on my. Uh, my Patrine, but I think I'm just gonna wait till her rerun comes back and then use those merges and then maybe think about um, depending on like because by that time rolls around who knows I probably have enough for grails to like just pull some more copies and then just plus turn her by then uh, but right now it's kind of like I'm, I just have the her copies of her and it's not looking like I'll be able to plus 10 her soon considering like I said um, I've got Brunya and I've got uh, uh, winter CC to, to deal with um, but yeah, like uh, Shinnin on bonus week looks like he's going to be pretty monstrous. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing much else I can say. Um, basically, I can just use him as my solo carry and then have everybody around him do whatever uh, they got to do. Um, something I actually found kind of funny was if that Halloween Zane ever gets a G, uh, uh, you know, he's a bonus unit. Like, most of those stat buffs don't mean anything to him, right? Because he takes other people's stats. Um, 
the the health is obviously nice. The health is always going to be nice, and the stats are always uh, the stats are good. Um, in the in the in the in the occasion that like is, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, like like I said, it's just funny. Um, but yeah, so Shinnin looks like he's going to be pretty monstrous. I mean, he's already pretty bad considering how strong he is. Um, but yeah, that's something to consider. Uh, it also it's also kind of funny that team up there. Well, there's that tree in the way. Because I was just thinking, like, that team up there might be kind of, like, susceptible to something like a uh, a leaf, a legendary leaf. Just kind of, like, gale forcing everybody. But, mm, pardon. Um, but, yeah, like, still not easy. Uh, but, like I said, the, the two biggest takeaways for me, and I guess I'll summarize this, uh, I'll end this with that, is... Ward stacking is very powerful. It's very dangerous to go in there. So maybe it'd be best to consider taking off like any goads I have at all and then just running a bunch of wards. Um, and also probably uh, run uh, attack. What is it? Uh, attack speed rain? Attack. Yeah, I think it's attack speed rain. That might be useful as well. Uh, but yeah, so you know, focus on getting a bunch of, uh, of wards stacking and ultimately maybe... I'm gonna probably have to replace um, what's her name, Plumeria there, or replace uh, the not the Plumeria, the Mirabilis. I need another Mirabilis, right? Maybe replace Duma with another Mirabilis to have even more wards. Um, yeah, so I mean, because it'll let me take this off and run someone else here, maybe, or just keep her if I want her, but let her stay here and run a ward, and then. Plumeria here with another ward, and then Plumeria has already got a ward, and I already got a bunch of other wards. So, basically, the bottom line is probably just I'm probably just gonna want a ward stack like the hell out of all this entire area, um, to make sure not only she survives, but you know, and other people survive. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of the, one of the takeaways. The other takeaway is uh, Ashnard is just as strong as I told as I as I said he was gonna be. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, like just Ashnard, it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to overstate what kind of an impact, uh, he has on a flyer ball. Um, and you know, obviously that was a bit of a, what's the word? It's a bit of an over, an over, over dramatification or just, it, it was overly dramatic, uh, running the, running into a triple Ashnard team like that. Uh, but, you know, I did showcase how strong that is. You know, three people all dropping you by 15. All dropping you by five, not only defense, but five uh, attack is like, it's the dream, right? 15 reduction to defense as well as a 15 reduction to attack. It's like, who? there's no one that can compete with that. Um, not even, you know, not even Vector. He couldn't kill them. Like, he, they just constantly kept hitting him and then got, they got healed. Um, now, I mean, that might have been different if I had just run Vector with, like, a bonfire, which he has it on him. I just, uh, prefer the, the, the soul, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just bonfire, and he's, they're basically all dead, right? So, it's up to you to decide. Um, that team, I originally had bonfire on him, and I had that Veronica there, not just for the stat bonus, but, like, to also heal him, too, because he couldn't heal with his own soul. Um, but then I kind of went with, with, uh, with, with soul, and that team was just kind of still there. Um, so it, it comes down to like, you know, you have to kind of pick your, what, what you want there specifically. Um, but yeah, so like I said, so those are the two takeaways. Just Ashnard is obviously very powerful, very good. And, um, and wards, just stack wards, <laughs> wards on wards on wards. Uh, the, the one other thing I wanted to point out was like, I'm really, well, for one, I'm going to get the Fey Pass at some point within the next two weeks, as long as, like, Takumi's in there, because I really need that close counter, because I'm dying for close counters. Um, and that's not bad. It's not a bad deal, right? You also get, like, the, what, the five orbs. I mean, it's just almost nothing uh, in terms of this game. But uh, you get the five or the five orbs. The the Grails are nice. The I think the Grails, to me, is the biggest, like, wow, this seems kind of dumb in terms of, like, how valuable it is and how kind of, like, wow, I'm just kind of paying for power here, right? Because those Grails, like... They're so limited that just getting a hundred of them for free on top of the, the the ones you get is like it's just dumb. Uh, but yeah, so I think that out of all the things that kind of makes that like 
like because the, the fate pass one of the things about the fate pass is like you buy it and you're not buying it for power right you're buying it just for some like some conveniences some some interesting things here and there and and like those rewards are just a side thing like the five orbs it's like no one's buying the five orbs it's like oh yeah i'm buying the five orbs because the orbs are a deal and i'm and i'm gonna you know pull on a unit and whatever you know so on and so forth right it's that's not why you get those that pack uh, but if you were to get the pack to be like, oh, these resources are gonna help me get ahead of everybody in in game, uh, I feel like the, those uh, those grails are, are the biggest like factor of like, wow, that, that's actually quite a lot in terms of uh, buying power. Uh, like I said, five orbs means nothing, but a hundred grails is is not nothing. Uh, that's actually quite a bit. So that's that's one of the things I wanted to point out was like the the, the one thing that kind of like it's good because I mean of course I could use the grails, um, but. It's one of those things where it's like, wow, that's actually quite. A, that's almost like too much value for uh, for that particular I, that, that item there. But um, that's just kind of the way I see it. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, the point I wanted to make with that was, yeah, like like I said, I'm get I'll probably get to kill me at some point, right? Um, before that goes away. But I do feel like Camilla is long overdue for a resplendent uh, alt. Um, not that there's anything wrong with her art necessarily. Of course, Camilla has some of the best art uh, in the entire game. Um, but yeah, just like she's she's one of the classic units, a unit a lot of people like uh, for more than for 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 obvious reasons and more than just obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, so Camilla with a plus two to everything sounds pretty interesting because at that point she'll finally have like a decent attack stat, like a fifty-one attack stat is not good, but it's you know like I said it's decent. Um, oh, actually, yeah, it'd be better if I had this off. So plus two, so plus four basically fifty-three attacks, not too bad. Um, she'll have the uh, uh, 39 speed, and then maybe you can just give her a speed uh, refine. And for one, it'll help you avoid it'll help you avoid getting doubled. And then uh, her weapon refine gives her more. Uh, but yeah, so you know, 39 plus two more is 41. So 41 speed isn't too bad. Uh, she's getting six from this, so 42 minus is 36 and 36. So she'll be 38 and 38. Uh, for for defensive stats, which is pretty good. Uh, at that point, I think like if she gets a refine and then she'll get some more health. I don't remember. I think it's like is it two health? I'm not entirely sure. But I think at that point, um, I am going to just run her with. I'm gonna I'm gonna inherit inherit the uh, Fury Four and the attack speed rain from the Claude onto her, uh, and then just run her like that, right? So plus four to all stats. Uh, we're gonna lose. We get six here, so we lose two here. So basically, what she looks like now will be plus two to these. Uh, well, minus the six, right? So down to 36, plus two. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'll talk about this at another time. I think, well, yeah. So minus the, the six from this gets her down to 36, but then we put the Fury 4 on her, and that's four to all stats. So she's at 40. Yeah, that's right. So she's about 40 and 40, which is pretty good. Um... If you know, like I said, that, that that's hinging that's hinging hinging on whether or not she gets a refine. Uh, but 40, 40 and forty, right? Plus the uh, the possibility, plus the possibility of um, let's see, of this, you know, right? Plus like the idea that she's gonna get four to this, which so she's at thirty seven now. Plus the thing is thirty nine, and then another four is forty three speed plus you know she gets four from this and whatnot um so yeah like i think with with if she gets that re that respondent refine like she'll have decently high uh health now um with like i said we're gonna be stacking a bunch of wards and goads uh with the fury four and all that stuff might make it viable that i could still run the uh guard and not be too uh sad about it but uh that's something to consider it's just like i said the idea that um she, I feel like she's gonna be have a resplendent hold at some point. Just uh, you know, how soon is it gonna be? Uh, the way we're the, the 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 pace we're getting them is kind of decently slow, decently fast. The two, every two weeks isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so anyway, like I'm rambling now. Um, yeah, it's getting late here, so I'm rambling and kind of getting off base here. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it for my Aether raids. Um, good luck to all of you out there, and we'll see how uh, see if see how I do. I guess I'll mention it in the next video. Probably tomorrow I'm going to make a. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to make the follow up to the Zane video, and then I also still have to make the Guild War video for Epic Seven. But that's 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 kind of separate from who watches these. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, see you guys then.